Catherine Ferrer takes us for a tour of Madrid. Take a look. Hola a todos. Hi everyone. I'm Catherine Ferrer from Madrid, Spain. Today I want you to join me to visit the heart of Spain, Madrid. I'll show you some of the most beautiful places that we have in the city. Vamos! The Royal Palace or Palacio Real is one of the biggest palaces in Europe and is considered one of the most beautiful buildings in Madrid. The Palacio Real or Royal Palace is the largest and certainly one of the most impressive palaces in Europe. It has more than 2,000 luxuriously decorated rooms, 50 of which can be visited. It is located on the east of Madrid's historic center within walking distance of the Plaza de España. It replaced the former medieval Alcázar which was burned to the crown in 1794. The present day, Royal Palace of Madrid was decorated to the tastes of Charles III and is extremely lavish inside. Visitors can wander through many of their rooms and banqueting halls. If you want to hang out with your family and friends, just visit the Retiro Park or Parque de Retiro. The Parque del Buen Retiro is the most popular park in Madrid. It can get crowded during weekends. Little in the 17th century by Felipe IV as the preserve of kings, queens and their intimates, the park was opened to the public in 1868. And ever since, whenever the weather is fine and on weekends in particular, Madrileños from all across the city gather here to stroll, read the Sunday papers in the shade, take a boat ride, or nurse a cool drink at the numerous outdoor terrazas. Right now, we're at the Prado Museum or Museo del Prado. It's the best museum of Spain and one of the most important of the world. The Prado Museum is Madrid's subcultural site and one of the world's greatest art galleries. Located in the Fonimus Street, El Paseo del Prado, is dazzling display of works by the great European masters such as Velázquez, Goya, Rafael, Rubens and Bosch, among other major Italian and Flemish artists. It's housed in an 18th century neoclassical building that opened as a museum in 1819. Its name derives from the district where it is located, formerly an area of market gardens known as the Prado or Nido. The Spanish queen at the time had been impressed with the Louvre in Paris and wanted to showcase an enormous collection in her own country. The result is several thousand works and the present time, with a recent modern extension, allowing more of them to be displayed. I hope you enjoyed visiting Madrid with me. That's it for now. Hasta pronto!